Whoever coined the phrase, secret secrets are no fun, is a dirty liar. Secrets are great, especially in video games. There is nothing quite like discovering something that is off the beaten path, whether it's an easter egg or a whole new level. Secret levels can even define a game, which is why we're counting down 10 of the greatest secret levels and how to get to them. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer for more exciting videos on the games that you love. The Green Hill Zone the Sonic franchise has had its ups and downs, that much is certain, but every now and again it will come out with a good game that still has a decent following. One of these games is Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. This game may be rough around the edges in some areas like lip syncing and animations, but there is a certain charm to the game that some gamers still find appealing even to this day. That's because the game was bursting with content which gave the player so many ways to play and even allowed some extra stuff after they completed the main game. One of the toughest achievements of this game was collecting all 180 emblems. This is a feat which requires hours and hours of dedication. However, if you manage to find all 180 of them, you're rewarded with a full 3D version of the famous Green Hill Zone, the first level in the original Sonic the Hedgehog game. This level is a faithful recreation of the original with revamped music that will send any seasoned gamer back to the good old days of playing Sonic on the Genesis. All in all, this is a secret worth unlocking. Star Fox Star Fox is a game franchise that despite not having as many games as it should, has defined Nintendo and helped carry the company to the forefront. It did this with a stellar game on the Super Nintendo. The game had a lot going for it. Branching paths, secret missions, and levels, and even a secret ending. We could fill a few spots on this list with just Star Fox secret levels, but today we're gonna stick with just one. The Out of This Dimension secret level. To unlock this, head to the second level asteroids, and 30 seconds or so in, you'll see a larger asteroid. If you shoot it down, an egg will fly out which will hatch into a giant bird. The bird will fly out and slowly approach you. If you touch the bird, the game changes and you are taken on a trip. The level will start to distort and stretch and you will find yourself in a topsy-turvy world. Indeed, you have left the Lilat system altogether and are now in another dimension. Here the background stretches and warps and the enemies are paper airplanes. It all comes full circle with a giant slot machine boss. If you want an out of this dimension experience, this is the way to do it. Goldeneye. Only a few games in all of gaming history can define a console. GoldenEye is one of those games. Ask anyone who ever played an N64 and they'll tell you one of two things. GoldenEye was their first FPS and Odd Job was off limits in multiplayer. To unlock this level, you need to beat the game on 00 mode. This level is actually based on the James Bond film Moonraker and many 007 players consider it to be one of the most challenging single player shooter maps. In this level, you playing as Bond must navigate the Aztec base in order to upload Q's guidance data into an enemy computer. Along the way, you have to face off against Jaws, one of the more iconic Bond villains. There there are a few cool unlocks you get from this, like the laser, which you get if you complete Aztec on Secret Agent difficulty. However, if you complete the level in 9 minutes or less, you can unlock the 2x laser, which is, as the name implies, 2 times better than the regular laser. Of course, the level is also best known for being one of the more memorable deathmatch levels in multiplayer, which, if we're being honest, is one of the main reasons that people loved playing Goldeneye. Super Mario World Out of all the entries on this list, none are more recognizable than Super Mario World. This Super Nintendo classic is the creme de la creme of platformers. Memorable levels and unique power-ups, this game has it all. What really sets this game apart is the layers upon layers of secrets within the game. Mario games are notorious for secret levels and warp zones. Even in the original, there were ways to skip levels. In Super Mario World, there are well-kept secret warps and levels which will unlock Star Road, a series of levels with their own secrets inside. To unlock Star Road 1, you have to beat Donut Plains 1 the special way and get the key. After that, there will be a level in the water. Beat that level and get the key. Go across the pond and go to the ghost house. Enter the house and go left until you find a pea block. Take the pea block back to the door hanging in the air. Do not go in the door. Instead, hit the middle block until a beanstalk sprouts up and climb it. Once you get on the ledge, hurry up to the blue door. This is where you will beat Big Boo and unlock Star Road 1. Dark Souls The Dark Souls series is known for two things. It is oppressively difficult and to get the extra goodies you need to explore. If you want to find the best weapons, uncover lore and backstory, you need to go off the beaten path and explore the world. Now, most games have a secret level that is just a bonus stage and contains some easter eggs and the like, but that is not the case in Dark Souls. The painted world of Ariamis is an entire level complete with items, mini bosses, and optional final bosses. All of this content is hidden in a painting you can only access with a peculiar doll 
doll you get by backtracking. After you get the peculiar doll, head to Anne Orlando and make it to the steps of the cathedral. Take out the painting guards and you will see a large painting of a castle off in the distance. Approach the painting and examine it. Your character will admire this beautiful work of art before being violently sucked into the painting. Presto! You are now in the painted world of Ariamis. Now be careful and make sure you are at the level you want to be at because the only way to leave this level is to complete it. Using a homeward bone to try and escape will only bring you back to the beginning of the level. Mortal Kombat Fighting games have their own genre of secrets from secret characters to stages and fights. One of the most famous secrets is in the first Mortal Kombat game where you can fight Reptile. This green-clad fighter has both Scorpion and Sub-Zero's movesets and getting to him is no easy task. To get to Reptile, you need to select a one-player game. At the pit, look at the moon and wait for a silhouette to move past. This happens once every six games. Once you see it, you have to perform two flawless victories and finish with your character's fatality. After that, you will get a message to prove yourself where you will be pitted against the green copycat fighter. Throughout the game, you will catch glimpses of Reptile and he will give you subtle hints about how to unlock fighting him. He will say things like, Perfection is the key. Reptile is a tough opponent, but if you manage to beat him, you will be rewarded with 10 million points in an even harder game. But that should be no problem for a Mortal Kombat master like yourself. Castlevania Inverted if there is one game famous for its secrets, it's Castlevania. The fact you have to backtrack and unlock so many hidden things with new abilities makes it a prime candidate for the most secret-heavy franchise in gaming. In Castlevania Symphony of the Night, there is one secret that can only be unlocked by having an obscure item and not killing a boss. This is the Inverted Castle, and to access it, you have to enter the battle against Richter Belmont while having the Holy Glasses equipped. To obtain the Holy Glasses, you need to get the Silver Ring that is in the chapel with the spikes. If you have the Spike Break Armor, you can use it to easily get the ring. You also need a gold ring, which you get from Succubus in an underground cavern. During the battle, there will be a floating green orb flying around the stage. You have to destroy this orb without killing Richter. If you do this, you will get a cutscene, after which you will find a teleporter and it will teleport you to the inverted castle. As the name suggests, the castle is flipped upside down and you can now access new areas and find new items here. It puts the game in a whole new perspective, literally. Diablo 2 some easter eggs and secret levels can transcend the game they were made for and become references in other games. This is the case with Diablo's 2, Moo Moo Farms. This is a secret endgame level that is just as silly as it is useful. To access this level, get Wurt's leg from his corpse when you are rescuing Kane from Tristram. Complete the game on any difficulty and then return to Act 1. Get to the rogue encampment and combine Wurt's leg with a town portal scroll in the Haradric Cube. After you do this, a portal will open up to Moo Moo Farm. Once there, you will be surrounded by axe-wielding cows. This is a great place to grind and pick up valuable items. The cows will spawn indefinitely and you can come back anytime, but only if you spare the cow king. He is a tough enemy, but he drops a special rare item. But if you kill him, you will not be able to return to Moo Moo Farm unless you start a brand new game. This easter egg is so famous that it has been featured in other games. This year, Hearthstone featured a tavern brawl where the secret boss was the cow king himself. Doom Within Doom Gamers were blown away when Doom 2016 blasted onto the scene. This high-octane shooter reminded gamers what Doom is all about. Violence. Sweet, bloody violence. While this game brought a lot of new things to the table, it didn't forget its roots. Hidden in almost every level of the game, there is a secret room which is retrofitted with classic Doom levels, enemies, and all sorts of goodies. To activate these secret rooms, you need to find a switch somewhere in the level. Pulling it will unlock a secret room somewhere nearby. They're easy to spot since they look like they just came out of Windows DOS. In these rooms, enemies will spawn and in classic Doom fashion, you have to blast their brains out. You can also restock on ammo, health, and armor in these levels. We'll tell you how to find the first secret level. The first room is located in the UAC about halfway through. Look for a cylindrical structure and move down to a small niche in the side of one of the structures. You will see the handle and after you pull it, the room will open up a little ways ahead of it. You're welcome. Resident Evil 2 have you ever played Resident Evil and thought to yourself, hey, in this game of survival and zombies, you know what's missing? Playing as a big old piece of tofu. Well, you can have this and more in Resident Evil 2. If you beat the game with Leon and Claire having A or B rankings in all six parts, you have the option to play through the game as a hunk of tofu. No, seriously, it's a walking piece of tofu armed with a knife and a little hat. Get ready though, this is beyond hard mode, as you're only equipped with a knife and the tofu takes more damage than his human counterparts. It makes sense, but it's important to know that the zombies of Resident Evil are open to munching on a vegetable 
vegetarian substitute is human flesh and brains. This is actually a parody of another minigame in Resident Evil called The Fourth Survivor. What makes this truly unique is Tofu has his own sound effects. Instead of it being a simple reskin of The Fourth Survivor, Tofu has his own grunts, more stamina, and even changes color depending on how much damage he's taken. He starts out as pure white and can go to crimson red when in danger. And those were some of the best secret levels in video games. Do you agree with our list? Do you have a secret level that you'd like to share? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see more engaging videos on the games you love. And while you're here, check out our playlist for more videos.